I've just put a valve into the bottom of my barrel. <clears throat> nice uh, 3 8 inch ball valve. I've barely got it cracked open because I've just got this little tub down here to catch the, the soap water. You can see this stuff is exceptionally soapy. That, that whiteness is soap. It, uh, when you put the lye into the, the oil, it creates soap. And the water washes the soap out of the oil. So... I've never seen it that soapy before. This is the first time I've done a bubble wash. I did a bubble wash for 24 hours. I was hoping to put it out in the sun today and dry it. And I'm half thinking I should run another wash through it. But, uh, I don't know. I did 24 hours of bubbling. Hopefully this is all the soap from the oil because, uh, this is the only good day we're going to have for the next week straight. It's been a really bad summer. and I'd like to put it out in the sun to dry today. So what I've done is I've cut this hole up here, a great big hole in my really nice barrel, hated to do it. I've got this aquarium pump here, and I've already used it once in the oil, it seems to work fine, submerged in oil. Um, but anyways, it fits in that hole quite nicely. And, um, whoops, well there went half of the pump. Anyways, I don't need that half. Um, so. I'm going to put that into the, uh, the oil, and uh, it's got this fitting on top. I can hook a, a little hose, two half-inch hose, and it'll pump it up into the air inside of the barrel, and I'll put a fan in here to um, blow air through there. And it'll be in the sun, so it'll be fairly warm today. It's going to be like 80 degrees. So I'll get all the water that I can out of it, and I'll pump the oil up into the air and blow a fan through there, and it'll dry it. We'll see how that works. Hopefully I got all the soap out. I definitely did a better job on this batch than my last batch, and that last batch ran fine in the car. So I should be fine. 24 hours of bubbling. Yeah. Cool.